Two of the biggest factors that'll affect the way your quad flies is your rate and your tune. Now tune is easy, especially now because Emu Flight had preset tunes and Beta Flight was like, yo, shit is tight, we wanna do that too. So now Beta Flight has preset tunes. And the community has made some pretty awesome ones that carry across several craft. However, rates are a completely different story. Rates are insanely personal. Sure, you can plug in the numbers that somebody else has for their rates, but if that's not the way that you fly, you are going to be hindered. You need to find the rates that fit the way you fly. Are you a flowy, smooth freestyle person? Are you a hardcore, bashing, flippy, floppy, do it all nutso type? Maybe you just want to fly around the park without running into every branch that's hanging down. Well, I'm here to help you. Today, I'm going to show you how to find your perfect rates. Before we get started today though, two things real quick, you eagle eye viewers may have noticed that this, this is a completely different background than I usually have. Let me show you, let me pop this light on. That's right, I redid my whole, my whole little FPV space here. I'll show you, a, I'll show you a before shot. Here's what it looked like before. And I spent like eight fucking hours yesterday cleaning it and redoing it. And now this is what it looks like. This is what my bench looks like. It looks so much fucking better. All right, number two, number two, um, real quick thing is this. This is how we're going to be getting this. Oh, can you see it? This is how we're getting to the fucking park. Today. Look at this thing. This company, Awesome Leopard, sent me this. And they're like, hey, we feature this in a video. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll feature it in a video. I'm not going to like make a whole review video of it. Ken Aron did a whole review video of it if you want to see that. Look, it's got dual ass. It's got dual ass suspension. I rode this around a little bit. And it's kind of fucking scary, man. I don't know if I really care for it. But we're going to ride this to the park today. Thank you, Awesome Leopard, for sending me this uh, fucking monster. <laughs> So I've always done old school beta flight rates because that's what I'm used to. And some people will tell you that doing actual rates is better. And I kind of, I failed to see how, like you're doing the same thing. It's just a different way of getting to the same end goal, right? Well, we had a discussion this morning on my discord about it. Is it 1996? No, no. Because no, the no. fucking expo and then you can the fucking, fucking running beta flight rates in 2023 and i decided you know what i'm not too like stuck in my ways that i'm not down to try a new method i'm not like oh oh i'm i'm nice and safe i'm nice and safe with my old beta flight rates your new actual rates are scary and new people are scared of new when <laughs> so fucking high i got this new like little mini mj arsenal dab rig that's not a promotion just what i bought so fucking high let me let me get my shit together give me a second I don't know. I'm going to try actual rates. I've never done this before. So I feel like a lot of you that are new to learning rates are going to be using actual rates. So this will be a more pertinent video. You can see the process that I go through to find my rates that I know I like already on beta fly rates. <laughs> this makes sense. I'm going to park it. I'm high. All right, let's jump on in a beta flight and do this shit. I kind of, I've, like I said, I've never done this. I kind of looked at it at home. Where's my goddamn USB port? I kind of looked at it at home and I was like, okay, this is how it works. So let's jump over here into it. All right, this is this is legit kind of nerve wracking for me, man. I have not changed anything with my rates in forever. And because of that, I want to set up a new rate profile. So the shit that I had set up previously isn't going to get all fucked up. Where's the rate profile part? Okay. It's on actual rates. So let me show you first, actually, before we do that, this is what it looks like normally. This is my beta flight rates. Uh, I do like 0 0.75, 0 0.25 expo. It comes out to about 800 degrees. So I want to keep it, uh-oh. Okay, so do a clean rate profile. So that way you're not messing up any of your settings. So I want the max rate to be about 800. So I think that might be a good start. Oh, no, not there. Let's start it at 800 for the max rate. That's the degrees a second, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like over here on this end. Um, I guess I could also just type in 800 right to go faster. Yep, that totally works. Expo, I don't know if Expo works the same. Hopefully it does. We're gonna do 2.5, just like I usually do. I guess I could have done some more research on this, but I don't know, I don't fucking care enough to. So we're just gonna go 0 0.25 on all axes there, 0 0.25, all right, good to go. Now this, this part, I don't know. I don't know anything about this at all. I have no idea what these numbers do. Uh, it starts off at 70. I want it at 800. Is it proportional? I'm going to do it at 100. I'm going to set them all to 100 and we'll start off on 100 and see how that feels. And if that's fucking whack, then, uh, then we'll do something else. All right, save that. Let's fucking go. Okay, this is going to be with those settings. My camera is out of focus. Oh, wow. That feels weird. That feels like there's a lot. Oh, this thing is like in the middle. There's nothing. There's nothing in the middle. Let's see how it rolls. 
and it rolls. Oh wow, I'm used to more. I'm used to being able to move it more in the middle. That is kind of fucking crazy feeling. I don't like that. It's very, very mush. Like the, the middle has like no snap. Like it's, uh, it's not responding well in the middle. This was set to what, 100? So we're gonna need to raise that, I think. Let me see if I can. Well, I can juicy flick it because I'm awesome, but let's see. So it's either get used to this or make it more snappy in the middle. Yeah, I like my shit more snappy in the middle. I don't, I don't think this is going to do. Let me go ahead and change this and pop it up just a little bit. Okay, that was that was way, it felt like it had a lot of expo on it is what it felt like. And I, like I said, I've never done this with actual rates before, so I'm not sure if 0.25 expo carries over from beta flight rates to actual rates, but we're going we're gonna to do something here. We're going to go to the PID tuning. We're going to go to the rate profile. Number two, this center sensitivity, I'm going to, I'm going to double it. I'm going to double that shit to 200 to see what that feels like. Cause 100 definitely felt like it was, I couldn't move it enough in the middle and I'm kind of a fucking shitty pilot, so I need to be able to freak out and have my shit move super fast. That, that was too much. That was like cinematic feeling, you know what I mean? Where I just want to be super smooth and locked in, not how I want to fly freestyle. So here we go. It's all at 800. I have doubled the sensor, the center sensitivity. Let's give that a flight. All right, here we go. This is with them doubled. So instead of 100 for that first column, it's doubled. That feels, oh, wow, wow. That feels more like my quad right there. That feels more like how I like to fly quad. Maybe a little loosey. Maybe a little loosey goosey. Uh, let's see how Juicy Flick looks. Yeah, that feels actually, it's closer to what I like, but it's still a little bit too loose. We're gonna have to knock that down. 100 was not enough. 200 is a little too much. Yeah, this is fucking loosey goosey town, bro. Look at that shit. <laughs> Yo, let's go ahead and connect. All right, good. Pid tuning, do not disconnect. I swear to fucking God. Rate profile, 200 is too much. 160. Let's try, I almost want to do like 180, but let's try 160 and see where that gets us. I think this will be a happy medium. Let's see, taking off right away. Maybe a little slower, actually. That is just a little, man, a little bit lower than I really like. The, the 800 degrees, though, feels fine. That's fucking whatever. That's something that I'm pretty used to. Oh, uh, man. I don't know. I don't know. It feels uh, it feels just slightly sluggish. I think we're gonna have to go to 180. We're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer to having it feel like I wanted it to feel. So let's try 180 on this. I'm curious as to what everybody else uses. Like I don't. Oh fuck! It's disconnecting again. I don't really watch like how to tune videos at all. Like I said, because I've just been doing my shit the same way I've been doing it forever. So I have no need to. But I am curious to know what other people run. I don't really keep up on a lot of other people's fucking tunes and shit. I do my own little tune. I might do my own little way. I showed you in a couple videos ago about a tiny whoop, how to tune and set one up. I might do a freestyle quad if you want to see that. But really, it's it's the same thing, just on a bigger scale. All right, everything's set to 180. Let's try this out. Okay, that's good. That's good stuff. That is good stuff right there. I like how that feels. I can fly this. I can definitely fly with this. This is completely fine. Except for my battery dying there. But yeah, this feels, this feels like some rates that I can handle for sure. Rates and that middle, that middle stick. So this is supposedly a better way to set up your rates because there's not some weird curve thing that beta flight does for you. I'm definitely gonna have to give this some more packs to like tell for sure if I like it better, but setting it up was just fine. Setting this up felt completely fucking fine. We're about to lose that video. You know, that's, that's the same process as I would do uh, regular beta flight rates, but actual rates are supposed to just feel better. I can tell, I can tell already. But this is a little closer to like not some weird unnatural curve. I just been, have been doing beta flight rates for so long that I have to get used to it myself. So this is nice. Maybe we got some time left in this video. Let's see if we can go find somewhere else to rip around and just try to get a fucking cruise in. Oh, did you see this thing? Did you see this? Pigs get the wall, get the fuck out, gentry fires, and then uh, they spelled something else wrong. What was it over here? Anarchists are not, you know, bless their hearts, they're not the best spellers. Silicon Valley? Or maybe that was supposed to be like that. I don't fucking know. Wait, is there a hole in here? We're going to lose this battery in a sec, but... All right, there is a hole in there. Uh, do we power loop it? We power loop it. Fuck yeah, we power loop it. Are you fucking kidding me? If there's a hole, you power loop that son bitch. All right, I'm about to lose this battery. Let's go fucking find somewhere to rip these new rates. Damn, unfortunately I kind of slept on this place. Uh, when Grim came down, we flew here and this, what I'm currently hovering, hovering over was a whole ass building. 
This whole ass fucking building is gone. Uh, so no more dives there. I have a whip antenna on here also, so I'm not sure how great my video is gonna be. But look at this, man. This is a whole big ass fucking bando spot that's getting torn down. All this rubble right here was a building, was a cool ass building that we were flying like weeks ago and shit. All right, these rates feel good. I forgot this is also a test of these new rates and shit. I saw maybe a fun split S right here in this debris. Let me see, was this it? Where am I? I'm over here. I can maybe split S this and then come out the door. Yeah, 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 I think I could do that. I also have a confession to make to everybody. I have not flown, I haven't flown freestyle in probably a month. Something like a month. Oh, that's a walker. That's a walker. God damn it. I didn't want to have to fucking walk because I'm in this sketch spot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm out of breath because I just ran across all these bricks. Look at that. I didn't realize that to get my quad, I was going to have to run this fucking gauntlet of bricks. Now, here's the thing is I do want to dive this again, but I don't have any backup props. So we have a little bit of battery left. Let's just go to explore. At the end of the exploration, and I'll try to dive that bullshit again. But I'm going to have to charge up and come back here because there's a lot. Look at this. There's a lot of cool shit here to fucking fly. I'm going to have to put better than a whip antenna on here. Come back and rip this shit. Let's do a little wall ride. Ugh, ugly wall ride. Like I said, I haven't flown for a month and a half, so I'm a little bit fucking rusty, but it feels good. It does feel good to fucking get this damn quad back up in the air. These rates feel good. The Expo does feel about the same as it would on beta flight rates and actual rates. Oopsie. Oh, what's this thing? Let's do a power loop. If we can successfully power loop this, then we can totally do a split S through a fucking little door frame. I think those things don't equate, but we're gonna pretend they do. Oh, it was ugly. It was ugly, but I did it. All right, let's do a little split S. If I don't make it this time, I ain't fucking going back over there. This squad's gonna live here. All right, there we go. whoop de doo I can do a fucking basic trick after a month. Don't hit yourself. That wall right felt good, actually. Let's do a wall right, and then we're gonna end this goddamn video. Nice, nice. All right, so month and a half, I could still fly, even with fucking slightly different rates, but whatever, that's cool. That's cool. This shit is so fucking cool. Look at all this cool stuff. All right, let's go back to the house and end this fucking video. Oh, you know what, before we end the video though, before we end the video, I just want to say a big shout out to all my top tier patrons. Shout out to all these motherfuckers right here that keep this fucking thing going, this YouTube channel, wherever the fuck it is, my career, my life, I don't even know. But I just have to say thank you so much. If you want to become a patron, patreon.com forward slash Bachrinder, you get all kinds of cool benefits and shit. You get to help support this channel. You can see your name on the screen every single video if you become a certain tier. I'm going to try not to hit myself. This battery's dying. All right, so this was doing rates. If you want to do your rates, that's how you're going to do your rates. You just keep flying around in a park, trying to let anybody steal your laptop and dial them in until you can fucking dive a little hallway in a bando or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. If you want to watch a video about me building and uh, toning, <laughs> building and tuning, whoops, it's on the screen right there. Go watch that. That was a good video. That's how you can get started really fucking ripping in urban places if you're not comfortable on a five inch. Okay, this video's over. Time for me to land. I love you all. Have a wonderful motherfucking day. Bye.